Okay, to be perfectly honest with everybody, I really haven't been in the mood to do anything movie-wise, wrestling-wise, um, anything-wise, because honestly, what happened last week just really hit me hard, and um, I'm just not into it, but now that we're out, get your head, get, get, get your head out of, no, don't block her. Your head. Okay, this is a story, all right? This is a story. She ain't going to bother him, her. What happened was, about a week ago, I went into this place that I'm not going to mention the name of the store because I don't need any shit coming back, but they sell pond supplies, tropical fish, you know, things like that. So, basically, I needed some pond plants. That was the whole deal. I needed some pond plants, and I go in there, and I'm looking around, and they don't have any plants, they didn't have much anything, but they had a tank full of turtles, not like a, an aquarium type tank, like um, a sort of, you know, big tub, and it said pond turtles, $49.95. Well, Unbeknownst to probably a lot of you, I got a lot of experience with turtles because I used to do a turtle rescue when I was still in Jersey. That when, when they were digging up everything and just running everything over and basically at one point I had three dozen of them, land and water. So, anyway, what happened was I'm looking in this trough and it's full of, they're not pond turtles, they're a bunch of African side necks which are not even native to North America. And they're not the type that come out and bask and look friendly and shit. They burrow in the muck. They're cool looking because they look like a sandwich with teeth, but they burrow in the muck. So, anyway, there's this turtle in there, which you see before you, which I was looking at. I didn't really know what the hell it was. And I told this woman to come over, let me look at it, and the turtle has shell rot, which will eventually kill it. So I told the woman, I says, listen, I'm familiar with this stuff. I really don't want to invest the money or the time, but this is what you got to do. And I outlined how I took care of it. All right. Should have known that nobody's going to do fucking shit anyway. So I go back today, and Turtle is still in there and just as bad. So now I'm like, let me talk to a manager. So the guy comes over. I said, see that turtle? I said, I talked to somebody about it. Was it somebody from over here? Was it somebody who worked here? I said, yeah. And if you notice, this turtle was eating steadily. I guess it wasn't even fed there. It's really hungry. So I'm like, okay. I said, I, to I told your help about this last week. So he goes, all right, I'll take it in the back. I looked the guy in the eye and I said, you're not going to take it in the back. What I think you really should do is you should give me this turtle for $25 and put it in a box and we'll call it a day because this is abuse, plain and simple, and nobody's going to take that turtle. So, once again, Pete's in over his head because, all right, <laughs> I'm not going to say it was a bad move because if I didn't do it, this poor thing would have died. And obviously it's hungry because it's eating everything that's in there. I'm giving some more. There you go. He's hungry. She's hungry. I, I know it's a female. What it is, what, what species, I'm not 100% sure. It almost looks like a painter that somehow, I don't know, was mutated, for lack of better words. But anyway, I know enough to probably help help this thing and it's like I, I, I had to take Blanca down to the vet which was another fucking nightmare today you know uh, she's okay my wallet not so much but hey I signed on for this shit so it is what it is um, I was talking to somebody down there about what I was doing and they just got in uh, 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 what the hell do they say oh fuck <laughs> I just smoked a joint too so that says something but anyway um exotic animal specialist so I spoke to her told her what I was doing she advised me to do a couple of things and she said you really should bring her in so you know something I'm in for a penny in for a pound um, you know you just saw Blanca stick her head in there I've already showed the dogs that this turtle is staying here for whatever it's no threat um, 
I have a pond behind me, which uh, has a bunch of goldfish in it, which, you know, I could probably rig it up to be escape proof because these turtles are great escape artists. And, you know, she can stay here. I, you know, it's not going to be that hard to take care of one reptile that basically isn't tropical and basically all, all she needs is uh, some place to swim and uh, a place to bask and I can just pick up, you know, a UV heat lamp and we'd be good for the winter. So that's what I'm going to do unless something happens here. But, you know, the good, the good part is, you know, you're watching her as I shoot this, say this rather, and she's basically, she's eating everything I've put down there. She's really hungry, but actually this is good. This is really good. She's really hungry. That's not food, that's a piece of wood. You don't want that. Yeah, take those. See? This poor girl's hungry. And this this is a good sign, you know, with the, the whole thing here. Um, with her eating and stuff. I know this is probably boring, but like I said, I, I, I too much on my plate with what went down last weekend and um, last week rather. And uh, there's going to be a memorial for Gary at um, where the heck did he say it was going to be? Uh, it's going to be in Austin. Look on Joe O'Connell's page on Facebook if you're going to be in the Austin area. I'm sure you know people would appreciate people stopping in. I uh, I wrote something up for uh, you know Joe to read my you know thoughts and uh, something very personal that Gary did for me, which I can never repay. But you know we're looking at this girl here, and it's like I you know I got I got high hopes. I really do. I think I can do this. I mean, just the fact that she's roaming around eating there. Of course, she ain't gonna be too happy when I take her out of the water and dry her off, and then she's got to spend the night in another thing. But I figured I can do this. I mean, what the hell? Another poor animal thrown on the fucking garbage heap of this planet because nobody gave a shit. All they saw was a fifty fucking dollar bill. And you know something? Another thing too is I don't want to get on gonna fucking rant here, but she's not captive bred. They're harvesting these poor, poor things in the wild. Just leave them go. I mean, damn, they go back to the time of the dinosaurs. I mean, they're not cute and cuddly, and you can't take them out and play with them, but, you know. She's got rather unique colors, though. I never saw that before. Another thing that made me say, like, let's get her out of here. And as for the other ones, if you want to see... Okay, move this up a bit. Where are we at? Da, 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 da. And the chairs. You see the dead guy still there. Get over there. I gotta move this up. Our dead guy is still there. Back up a little bit. Yeah, lost his hat in the storm, but the dead guy is still there. And everything I planted over there is actually growing, which is interesting. And uh, let's see, we go over here. And you can see. Oh, I can back up. There they are. Back this a little bit better. Tell me they don't have the life. And there, there's my pond beyond that. Um, which usually you can see goldfish, but it's murky. Hasn't rained, so... Uh, yeah. Tour of my backyard. You know, I, I bought this chair that Blanca's on, and I never actually got to lay on it because she just took the damn thing over. And this one just seems like to lay next to the chair. So, um, now she's going to go over. She sees it move in there. What are you going to do? See, they won't bother them because they were introduced. You want to say something or what? You want to... You're getting grayer and grayer. And eh, she just... She hates the vet, this one. She actually hates the vet. Zoom in. Blanca, you hate the vet? You want to say anything? You're all content and stuff like that? Yep. You're a good girl. So, not trying to be downbeat, just figured I just, you know, this is why I'm not doing nothing, you know, right about now. I'll be doing something shortly, but I, you know, she's all thrilled by the fucking thing, too. The turtle's more excited. But I'm going to work on this over the weekend and, you know, get her back up to snuff and see where we're at and then try to think of some new subjects for the show. And, uh, like I said, 
it, this one really hurt, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. So, uh, till the next show, guys, stay safe. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. And as the turtle doesn't want me to say, we'll see you on the flip side.